evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Meezy69, and I'm back with another OP replay with commentary. Yes, we have another OP replay with some commentary for you. And today, we're going to look at the new tank, the uh, STRVK, which at the moment, I'm going to do another video on the STRV because... Uh, I'm absolutely loving this tank. I really do enjoy playing this tank. I don't know why. And it's beginning to be one of my favorite tanks in the game. Of course, nothing will ever beat the Leopard 1. The Leopard 1 is always going to be my favorite tank in the game. But this is very quickly becoming my favorite heavy tank in the game. And it's a tank that uh, I do go to play tier 10 just for a little bit of fun. And, of course, easy mastery badges because no one has really got this tank. Not many people own this tank because it was uh, quite hard to get. Uh, well, it wasn't that hard to get, but people had to spend money uh, if they wanted to uh, get this tank. But, yeah, I absolutely love it. And our guy here, uh, Flair Hacker, is going to do this uh, absolutely wonders in this tank. And one of the top damages uh, done in this tank at the moment. So as we know, it's got good DPM. It's got very, very good DPM, but it doesn't have much armor. So if you do get caught out in the open, you're not going to get bounces. It's a ridgeline. It's definitely a ridgeline tank. And if you, again, if you do get caught out in the open, uh, especially against these mediums, although you do have the DPM to deal with these mediums. Now, he got very lucky there with the STB that he wasn't the uh, the best of players. And this poor FV215B is really not happy. F you all. I, I really don't know why. Just because he went maybe the other side on his own. Um, but that's... That's a him problem. That's a you problem, dude. Deal with it. So, so far, 2,000 damage done. Now this hurry is coming around. So he's now on his own around this side of the map. But he still needs to be very careful of the hurry. Uh, of course, it's got good DPM for what it is. It's got fantastic penetration. And yeah, it's, he's not going to struggle penetrating the STRV. So he has to be very careful with that guy. But seeing as he's in the position that the hurry is in the position he's at, they really need to take him out. You know, he's away from his other team. You can see the other team... Uh, past him like over him so he's in the middle all on his own so they need to take this guy out very very quickly so of course the fv215b still is not happy uh very very really not happy is he even though they're currently doing quite well, uh, yeah, he's still not happy. So there goes the Hori, and now there is just all these heavies to deal with. Four heavy tanks, and most of them are still on full HP. So even the the 60TP, the T62 here, who are both one shots uh, against all these uh, H, all these hit points. It's going to be a tough, tough task they need to work together if they're going to pull this off and with him only on half hp he also needs to get himself into a position just like he is now where he can farm the enemy hit points and not be looked at that is the main goal not be looked at here so now what he's going to do the yeguru is in all sorts of problems and the is7 is going to try to circle him so he's going to ignore the other guys you know he's going to go for the is7 and make it a two versus one at least then the IS-7 isn't looking at him. The IS-7 should probably look at him right now. But he decided that he wanted to go for the jaeger And he did not last very long. So that is now 4,800 damage. And it is a 3 versus 2. He needs to take out this E-75 very, very quickly. And you can see him trying to angle here. He's definitely, if he wants to win this game, he's definitely going to need a bounce or 2. So here is the T-57, who is full hit point. Right now, I would be leaving this T-57 because he is all on his own against two tanks. This is going to be a very, very hard task. A full hit point T-57 who can just, if he's lucky, he can just about clear 1,300 hit points with his magazine. But first off, he needs to focus for this WZ-114. He's a two-shot and he's the most likely target. If he starts going for the, the T-57, 
then it's not going to end well. But I love what he's done here. He's gone into a position where he can actually start getting some bounces. If they decide to shoot him from where they are, he will be able to get some bounces. And of course, he's definitely going to want a bounce or two from this T57 Heavy. Uh, and is he going to do that? So the T57 is pushing, rightly so. He should be pushing right now. And now he has got around him. Bear in mind, he's going to have a full reload. So there's two, uh, two shells. There's the third shell and now he is on a reload what is this wz114 doing but even even so with the dpm he should not be able to clear this t57 um if whilst he's on a reload it's going to be very very close and i still think he's going to need a bounce you can see the t57 now trying to aim which means he's probably reloaded he gets the bounce he needs and he takes him down a one versus two a full hit point t57 heavy and he manages to clear that guy unfortunately gets the bounce on the turret of the wz114 this is going to be very close he needs a high roll or even just an average roll will do there's one shot the wz misses his shot how important was that he now has the time to aim at that hatch and get the victory very very well played from our guy there in the strvk well played that was a, a fun game that was a very very tough game but you know 8400 damage a well-deserved mastery badge and a well-deserved victory so for now i hope you enjoyed this game guys if you did hit that subscribe button i'm meaty and i will catch you all soon goodbye